Hello, ninth graders. This is Miss Natalie, your English teacher. I hope you are doing well, safe, and sound. In this tutorial, I will discuss the material included for week number 10. Um, so let's start with the first day, the 5th of November. Uh, in this lesson, you are going to present your work that reflects your comprehensive understanding of the elements and techniques used in dramatic plays through PPTs, right? As in the previous lesson, I give you time inside the class to work on your assigned topics. As we mentioned, group number one will work on defining the meaning of drama and explore the first, and explore the first time dramatic techniques. Um, group number two should investigate the second time dramatic techniques found in the um, main PPT, which is this one. Yeah. And group number three should explain the key plot elements of a play. Um, if you scroll down in the interactive activity number two, you're going to find some le leading ideas that will help you throughout the interactive activity on dramatic plays. Please go over them and take them into consideration. Um, on the second day of this week, the 6th of um, November, um, you are going. We are. You are going to start working on a different, um, I would say, or a new project, semi-project, where you're going to analyze key concepts um, of the play titled "Life Is a Dream," the play that we are going to tackle uh, by Pedro Barca, including um, historical context, plot summary, character analysis, and themes and symbols. Um, as to foster a deeper understanding of the play and its relevance to the Spanish Golden Age, which is the historical background. These are, I would say, the key concepts, the word wall, dramatic play, biography, historical context, plot summary, character analysis, themes and symbols, and research. Here you're going to find an essay on the play, Life is a Dream. It provides a background, information, explanation, and analysis. You have tutorials to aid your understanding. Now, uh, this is the interactive activity, which is the semi-project. It will be distributed into groups. Uh, group number one will work on the author's biography and the extra credit. Uh, for each group, I provided, um, I would say, uh, pieces of information that will aid your, the formation of your project, as you can see here. Now, group number two will work on the historical context and key facts of the play. Um, group number um, number three will work on the plot summary and characters in the play and the plot summary of course yeah number four group number four will work on themes and symbols they're going to explain them in reference to the play of course you have tutorials to aid your projects you also have um, aiding ideas for the project and questions Now, on the third day of this week, um, you are going to, I would say, yeah, continue working on your project inside of the class. Of course, you need to work after school. Um, where you are going in this specific class, you are going not to only research, but to construct the PPT itself in groups. You also have here tutorials to aid your understanding. Um, you have Uh, aiding ideas also to aid your the progression of your pro project now on the fourth day of this week is the presentation day group number one and group number two will present their findings um, each group would present for 15 I would say um, 20 minutes because it takes time so on the last day of this week group number four and group number three will present their work uh, in reference to character analysis, plot summary, themes and symbols. Yeah. So please prepare yourselves. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.